Hi there guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel today. Today I'm going to be talking to you about something slightly different, but it still does play an effect with regard to how we see reality. So I was just doing my morning routine, I guess, of checking newspapers online, and I stumbled upon this high IQ intelligence test. So I was doing air quotes there for those of you that um, couldn't tell by the sound of my voice there. So as you can see, I'd say pause the video now if you want to have a go at the test yourself. So this is the test here. And I actually sent a screenshot of this to a few people just to see what they came up with. So my answer was actually different than other people's answers. However, it still wasn't technically wrong what I did. So as you can see, so I'll tell you that the main equation that most people came up with. So 8 plus 2 equals, and then this is the test here. So we'll do the first line and then it's the same principle that applies to every other line. So what you do, first of all, you do 8 times 2 equals 16, then you do 8 plus 2 equals 10, then 8 minus 2 equals 6. Now the equation that I came to was 8 plus 2 equals 10, so it's just basically the third set of numbers in each line, 5 plus 4 equals 9, which makes sense. So for me that was the right answer because it was spotting a pattern that was happening within this code was given it the answer. So it's not the wrong answer as such, because let's just say that this was an extended code if there were a few more numbers on there, for example, 8 divided by 2. Let's say it had a 4 on there, and then there was just a few more numbers on the end of the line. It would effectively be a long pattern, or let's say there was a few random numbers thrown in there on the seventh line of the pattern. So I saw this as 8 plus 2 equals 10. 5 plus 4 equals 9. So as you can see that they are the essentially the third set of numbers on each line, which makes sense when you go back to the original equation of 8 times 2 is 16, 8 plus 2 is 10, 8 minus 2 is 6. So it makes sense. But I, I, didn't, I wasn't even going to post this video. But I just found it very interesting how people can look at the same equation and have a different answer for it, yet it's still not necessarily be wrong. So there was also another one that I sent around today, which was this one, which has apparently stumped a lot of people online. So again, pause the video here if you want to have a go yourself and write down the number. So as you can see from the test here, so it's basically these sticks equal 9 equals 1 and then what does this last formation equal? So again I sent this to a few people just to see what answers they would come up with. Everyone came up with the same answer however the way they got the answers were different which is again I find it very fascinating how people will look at a perspective from a completely different angle. And I'm, the reason why I'm putting this video up, because I don't usually do maths quiz or anything like that in the morning as a video, it's to highlight the fact of things such as the Mandela effect or religion or belief systems. Just I just find it fascinating how so many people can have different perspectives on things, but yet not be wrong necessarily. So with regard to this equation, how one person worked out is they would times the horizontal sticks, so the sticks going sideways, by the vertical sticks. So 3 times 3 equals 9, 1 times 1 equals 1, 2 times 2 equals 4. So 4 is the answer that everyone got. However, again, that's not how I worked it out. And I've just found out as well that even the way I worked it out is a different way compared to how this uh, newspaper worked it out. So first of all, I looked at what's the value of 1. So to me, I just used it as a plus sign. And I thought, okay, there's 9 plus signs in there. 
there's four plus signs in there. That was the easiest way that I could think of doing it. Now, the website are effectively saying that it's all of the intersections, so the, the point where the two sticks meet, which again, it's, it's fairly similar. So it's obviously going to be nine on the top there, one there, four there. But I just, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It's not a video I would typically put up, but I just think that this these two tests, for me, completely highlighted how different people's perspectives can be on effectively the same situation. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Bye.